like how it's etchy. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while since I've done an FSD video. Uh, my 2020 Model 3 finally got the new version 12.3.6. So we're gonna go ahead on that normal drive I do that usually hits a roundabout. And we'll see if this is as big of a change from version 11 uh, as a lot of people claim. So let's get into it. So we're on version 12, autopilot settings for everybody. I have it on insertive. Um, so hopefully we'll see how it does. I mean, right now I'm really liking the new visuals, the maps up here, especially when you're full screen. Uh, it definitely is a huge uh, UI update from version uh, 11. So we're slowly pulling out here. And no issues with that. And I heard this version also has the no nag, so we'll actually see if it nags me to touch the steering wheel or not. If not, I'm just gonna kinda keep my hands ready to go. I was kinda hesitant there, but it kinda finally, okay, so it does still have the nag. So we'll see how often it goes. Alright, I don't know why it's slowing down. It was like slowing down like a good bit back there. Let's see, it's getting in, it's not getting in. Got some construction up here so let's see if it should start slowly moving over and it is it didn't pick up any of those cones though which was weird few last version 11s it had trouble with this turn up here it would wait it'd stay in the straight lane and then get into the turn lane at the very last second so i'm curious if it'll actually like flow into this properly right now okay yeah well that was fixed yeah because usually on version 11 it would ride all the way up here and then like try to shove its way over like sideways And my Model 3 is the sensor one, so I'm pretty sure it's still going off the sensors or if they, because I don't think it has Tesla Vision or since version 12, it's pushing Tesla Vision. Um, so I don't know if that makes a big difference because I do have the sensors on this one. All right, let's see how it does. These Vegas turn lanes are always really weird. actually pretty good like no issues there now we'll see if it actually stays in this lane because basically I need to just stay in this lane to flow into the next exit uh, version 11 would literally get out of the exit lane ride back on the main highway and then try to like merge back into the exit lane last minute so hopefully it just stays in this lane and we should it should be a smooth exit this roundabout which there's a one of the iterations of version 11 it literally got stuck in the roundabout like I have that video and it's literally just like it could not get out of the exit so we'll see if we can get out of this exit correctly we'll flip it around and then I want it to do a u-turn so I'll force it to see if it can actually um, smoothly do a u-turn also actually uh, really smooth so I'm just gonna flip it around real quick and then we'll restart all right we're back I'm just gonna pull out of the roundabout and I'm gonna basically see if it can um, 
U-turn itself up here. Um, all right, so now it's gonna have a U-turn, so we'll see how it does with the truck and all that in the way. All right, we got a truck coming up here. That was actually perfect. That was that was amazing. All right, so let's uh, get it back going a different way. Protected left turn, like that was actually really good. Like, had no issues or anything. That's crazy. And this was actually really good too, because version 11 again, for some reason with the turn lanes here in Vegas. Oh, wait, maybe. Okay. It would literally go all the way up, like it's going straight, and then try to like jump over last minute. Like, it recognizes this lane was here but it would never get into it and it could be the confusion that like this center part right here it's, it's not a lane but as you can see here it's showing it as a lane so let's see how it does on this next unprotected left uh, I could have went. all right we'll just wait so this is something weird that's been on my map system some since I got to Vegas so for some reason it wants me to go left, U-turn, and then go back that way. So I'm gonna just let it do it just to see how it U-turns there. Um, I don't know why the map is set up like this, but it's weird. This one's gonna be fun because we have a lot of construction going on right here. And it's weird, none of the cones are showing up. So I don't know, I can't actually U-turn here. be able to or it can go that way I don't like how it's etching okay I'm gonna stop it yeah it was like uh, I'm just gonna take it this way I guess okay so obviously it had troubles understanding that the person with the stop sign was controlling the traffic which makes sense. All it sees is a stop sign and then it wanted to go. So I kind of had to like intervene there so I wouldn't run the person over. I don't think it would have ran her over, but I'm not gonna play that game. So it's gonna reroute us. I think we're just gonna go back up the other way. Yeah, I mean, it literally could have avoided this whole thing if it just would have taken a right where it's supposed to like the roads open it's not a new road but since i've been here like i said it wants to u-turn itself and then go which doesn't make any sense This is not a turn lane. I don't know why it gets confused with these center lanes, but it should be in that lane. Hopefully the cop doesn't think I'm drunk or something. Right. I mean, overall wasn't, uh, it was actually a really good drive compared to version 11. Uh, the only time I had to intervene 
was the construction worker with the sign. Uh, it's still super weird. It literally never showed any cones or anything. Version 11 and previous versions all showed cones, all that stuff. So it's kind of weird that it doesn't show that anymore. Um, obviously the one time I had to intervene, it kind of made sense because it didn't understand the person was holding the stop sign and was dictating when the car could go. Um, so I mean, overall it, was, it wasn't that bad. All right, before we end this video, I'm gonna try to make it go into a cul-de-sac to see if it can actually U-turn properly. Uh, this one's pretty big, so I don't think it should have an issue turning around here. stop maybe I have to like give it all right so I mean I had to give it a little bit of throttle to get it around but obviously it, it could have done it by itself really easily so that was pretty cool well anyways I hope you all enjoyed the video today with version 12 here in Las Vegas uh, if you like this kind of content go ahead and subscribe comment down below what you want to see in the next one and I'm gonna go ahead and do another route right after this, um, a much harder route to see if it actually can um, stand up to all the hype it has right now, version 12. So make sure you subscribe for that and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.